right, YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back, my fellow collectors. Welcome back, my fellow Fug Accumulators. And if you guys just watched my previous video of the Malekith from this wave, you know that I'm doing this back to back. And I actually might do one more video back to back depending on how much time I have. So, without further ado, here is the Black Knight from the second Infinity War wave. I'm not gonna bother you guys with too much details because I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it before. Showing you guys the wave real quick, just in case you guys haven't seen my other videos. But like I said, I am still looking for the Ant-Man and the Wasp and I have everything else. So let's crack this guy open and take a look. All right, guys. So build a figure piece is going to be, to be honest, I'm not even sure because you can't really tell which foot this is. So this might be the left. This might be the right. I'm thinking it's the right. It, it, it feels like it's a right, right leg, but I'm not hundred percent sure if you guys know, please let me know so I don't get it confused. So build a figure piece, his other accessories. He does come with a decent amount of accessories. He comes with this, his sword, which I think is pretty cool. I do like the matte black finish. Um, it's a little bent and warped for mine, which kind of sucks, but um, overall it's not too bad. I think I can straighten that out a little bit. And then he comes with three heads total. He comes with this smaller helmet with like the no dragon wing ear type things um, with a snarling face. He comes with this paladin uh, Knights of the Templar looking type helmet which I think I'm gonna put this on because I think this one looks really dope. And then he comes with the standard face that comes on the figure. So it has the helmet with the dragon wings for ears, which are actually has pretty soft plastic and he has a neutral face. Now, his cape does come off. As you can see, there is a peg hole right there and then there's a peg in the back. All right, like as I was saying before my dog interrupted, <laughs> So, um, his cape comes off. So I guess this counts as a, as a separate accessory. I'm gonna count it as a separate accessory anyway, but for video purposes, let me go ahead and take it out just so I can show you guys. The articulation. So here's how he looks without the cape. Um, I don't know if it's just mine or if I'm just trying to articulate it differently, but his arms don't really articulate too much unless it's really, unless mine is really stiff. So he goes out that much. And then uh, I do like the fact that the sculpt lines for him are pretty nice. It's pretty clean. Uh, I wish the lighting was a little bit better, but let's do the best I can. Um, the bird slash raven slash crow on his chest, um, his paint is the paint is really nice, nice clean work, nothing really too sloppy. Has side, side swivel, you know, um, ab crunch, double jointed elbows, bicep swivel, and a swivel and bend rotation at the arms. You know, typical Marvel Legends uh, or standard Marvel Legends articulation. So, like I said, like I got um, the Malekith mixed up, how one of his hands is a gripping hand. I thought it was both, but one of it. Uh, his thumb and his pointer are connected. This guy, he he has two open hands. So he has this one, kind of like a open-ish trigger hand. So I'm not sure exactly what goes in there. Maybe his sword, and then definitely his sword goes onto his left hand. He has a loincloth type piece that's loose, so you can move it up and down so it doesn't hinder articulation uh, too much. Hopefully, he has a bice or a bicep. Uh, a thigh cut, which is mine's pretty stiff, which is pretty good. Double jointed elbows, um, his upper, the upper part of his boot, so a thigh, a calf cut, and then standard Marvel Legends uh, ankle articulation with the pivot and the swivel. So the one thing I um, greatly appreciate about this figure is the fact that he does have. Um, Chainmail or armor mail, something. I know it's not chainmail. I watched someone's video the other day stating that it wasn't chainmail. So I'm not exactly sure what it is. But I like how it's sculpted everywhere and not just painted on. That's a very nice touch. That's a, a little extra that Marvel or Hasbro didn't have to do, but did anyway. So I really like that fact. Let me go ahead and pop off his head real quick. 
and put the one I think I'm going to keep. Actually, you know what? Let me put on the other one just to show you guys. If you guys want to choose uh, the other one. So this is how his other head looks. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, you know? It doesn't look too bad, but out of the three, I think that one is probably the worst just because it's pretty basic. He does have facial expression, but that's pretty much it. And then this bad boy, yeah, he he definitely looks he definitely looks pretty dope here. So, you know, you just see him standing right there, just staring at you. That is going to be pretty dope. So, actually, mine wasn't even popped on all the way. I thought it was popped on all the way. There we go. There we go. So, he can't look back, obviously, just because it's hindering. But he does look forward pretty well. And then, typical side to side. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to keep this helmet on him because I think it looks the best. So he is kind of short. Let me fix his foot. He is a little on the shorter side. And then I have Malekith right here for some size comparisons. Actually, they're almost the same height. Let me see if I can get him to balance. There you go. So yeah, they're, they're pretty much about the same height. Um, obviously, it's going to differ with whatever helmet you guys have on. Let's put him away. So yeah, I'm definitely going to keep this helmet on him so let me attach or give him his sword and he does look like he can hold it man that that's a that's a really clean look i'm not gonna lie it does look really nice it's probably gonna i can definitely see why this figure is um one of the figures that people are probably looking for so it's a little bit sought after one and then another reason I can think of is if you get two, you can, you know, obviously use all three heads and army build them for it to some extent. So yeah, to me personally, that's just a really, really clean look. And as you can see, he's able to hold it with both hands. Um, I wish, I do wish his uh, shoulder articulation was a little bit better. It was, it doesn't reach over all the way. So hopefully, or I wish that since the, that part of his, um, the chainmail looks like it's cut on his torso, they could have given him a butterfly joint maybe to make his articulation a little bit better. But overall, he does look pretty cool just like that. All right, guys, that's going to do it for a review for this guy for the Marvel Legends Black Knight from the Infinity War Wave. If you guys like what I'm doing, Please share the video. Please like the video. Please subscribe to me. Just past 100 subscribers. About to do a giveaway. Don't know what I'm going to do for it yet. But please stay tuned for that. Thank you guys very much. Thank you guys for all your support. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.